Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and husband to Queen Elizabeth II for 73 years, has died at the age of 99, just two months shy of his 100th birthday. The official website of the British royal family shared the news in a statement released on April 9th, saying, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Prince Philip had recently returned home after a month-long hospital stay in which he underwent surgery for a pre-existing heart condition. The Duke's death comes amidst a time of great upheaval for the royal family. His grandson, Prince Harry, and Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, recently stunned the world with their candid television interview with Oprah Winfrey following their official departure from royal life. The pair criticized the royals for their antiquated ways and claimed various ways Markle was ostracized due to a race. Unsurprisingly, the interview has only increased the tension between Prince Harry and his family, which is likely making his grandfather's death even more difficult. Here, a royal expert spoke with a list about why. Prince Harry's recent separation from his family is surely not making matters easier. The 36-year-old, along with a pregnant Markle and their almost two-year-old son Archie, recently made the move to California after leaving the royals. Kinsey Schofield, founder of to die for daily.com a website about the British royal family, tells the list how Harry's struggles are likely twofold. Schofield explained, I honestly feel quite sorry for Prince Harry in this scenario. He will have a difficult time grieving for his grandfather alone in America. Recent reports indicate that Prince Charles and Prince William do not want to engage in conversations with Harry because they do not trust him. That means today will either include awkward telephone exchanges or no calls at all. Meghan shared on the Oprah interview that it was Meghan and Harry's staff that had informed them that Philip was in the hospital. So who knows how Prince Harry was informed of his death. Schofield adds, quote, Prince Harry has truly become the least of their worries. Despite the UK's lockdown, the New York Post reports that Prince Harry does plan to return home for his grandfather's funeral his first time home since he and Meghan Markle defected from the royal family. A royal source told the outlet, Harry was extremely close to his grandfather. He will, of course, be there, no matter how difficult relations are between the Sussexes and the family. It's unclear whether Markle will be joining her husband for the trip, given that she is pregnant with her second child, a daughter. Additionally, the current limit for funeral guests in the UK is 30 people, so that may also be a factor in Markle's attendance. Vanity Fair says that the decision will ultimately be left up to her medical team. The COVID-19 pandemic and Britain's current lockdown also complicates Prince Harry's potential travel plans. If he is to follow the latest COVID-19 guidelines, he will have to quarantine for several days and receive a negative test before attending the funeral at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Despite the recent conflicts within the royal family, it seems that Prince Harry and his grandfather were able to maintain a good relationship. In a February interview with talk show host James Gordon, the former royal said that he, like so many during the pandemic, stayed in touch with loved ones via Zoom. His grandparents, he said, have seen their great-grandson Archie over video calls. Prince Harry said, We've Zoomed them a few times. They've seen Archie running around. Prince Harry also recalled that at the end of their video chats, Prince Philip would simply shut his laptop rather than clicking the Leave Meeting button. He just goes, doof, Harry said with a laugh. Given the closeness of their relationship, it's not surprising that Harry will do everything in his power to return home for Prince Philip's upcoming funeral.